Welcome to the Thinking Particles 5 Stable Physics video. In this video I want to show you our latest physics engine we have implemented in Thinking Particles 5. Um, we use the bullet physics libraries and um, I'm going to show you how stable you can get a dynamic simulation in Thinking Particles. The important part here to understand is that we have here stacking objects and we are not uh, trying to fake a stable system so we are actually stacking cubes in real time each one above the other and we are having uh, gravity turned on and all the objects are active so when I go back and just play the animation you will see that we have a live real-time simulation going on so we have constant gravity fighting the stacking forces face-to-face -face collisions everything going on here at the same time and you can see how nice and stable we can get this situation again with thinking particles 5 you might already know we can procedurally freeze particles if they don't move anymore we can create uh, we, we could make this uh, stack of cubes really uh, just stand there forever but what I wanted to show in this video is how stable you get a real dynamics uh, simulation that is ongoing and in real time. And to prove my point, let me just increase the uh, amount of cubes uh, a bit more and I'm going to just add uh, another 20 cubes and Let's go back and just see if we overdo it. And again, that's all in real time, stacking up with a little bit of distance so the cubes have to uh, settle down. And we have ongoing um, physics simulation here. So we are very happy with the new bullet physics engine. It's very fast, it works in real time, and it can create really highly accurate physics simulations. Check out the other videos uh, about the new additions we have in Thinking Particles 5.